You ever felt like someone in your life is constantly trying to control, manipulate or bring you down? Maybe it's someone close, a friend, a partner, or even a family member. But what if I told you that this person, no matter how difficult they are, might actually be part of God's plan to make you stronger? Yes, you heard that right. Sometimes God allows a narcissist in your life to help you grow into the powerful, unshakable chosen one you're meant to be. Hey there, chosen ones. Welcome back to a space where we uncover the deeper truths about your journey and how everything, yes, even the tough moments, is working in your favor. Before we dive deeper into this eye-opening topic, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Why? Because each week, we uncover the secrets behind why you're chosen and how to navigate life's challenges with strength, faith, and wisdom. Don't miss out on what's coming next. It's all about you leveling up. Now back to the big question, why would God allow such a challenging person in your life? Stick with me, because by the end of this video, you'll not only understand why, but you'll also see how these experiences are setting you up for your greatest transformation. Oh, and here's a little challenge for you. Drop a comment right now if you've ever dealt with someone who just drained your energy, but ended up teaching you a powerful lesson. Let's support each other in the comments as we grow together. All right, let's dive in and trust me, you'll never see your situation the same way again. Ready? Let's go. Sometimes the people in our lives who challenge us the most have a surprising purpose. They help us see things about ourselves we might not notice otherwise. Narcissists, in particular, can play this unexpected role. Their actions and behaviors often act like a mirror, showing us parts of ourselves we may not want to face but need to. A narcissist tends to focus on their own needs, desires and feelings, often ignoring how their behavior affects others. They might criticize you, dismiss your opinions or make you feel unimportant. While this can be hurtful, it can also bring hidden emotions to the surface. For example, if their words make you feel small, it might reveal insecurities you've been carrying deep inside. This doesn't mean the narcissist is right, but their actions can highlight areas where you need healing or growth. Maybe their criticism shows that you struggle with self-worth, or their need to control everything reminds you to set stronger boundaries. Instead of focusing on how they affect you, think about what their actions are teaching you about yourself. The key is self-reflection. Take a moment to ask, why does this person's behavior bother me so much? Is there something in me that needs attention? By looking inward, you can begin to grow stronger. You might learn to speak up for yourself, value your own opinions, or let go of the need for others' approval. It's important to remember that God can use even the hardest situations to help you grow. A narcissist's behavior might be uncomfortable, but it can push you to become more confident, resilient, and self-aware. Instead of letting their negativity bring you down, use it as an opportunity to build yourself up. This doesn't mean you should accept mistreatment or stay in toxic relationships. Protecting yourself is important too. But if you've encountered a narcissist, try to see their role in your life as a lesson. They might be showing you exactly where you need to grow to become the strongest version of yourself. Facing challenges with a narcissist can feel overwhelming, but these tough experiences often serve a deeper purpose. They test your limits, push your boundaries, and sometimes leave you questioning yourself. However, these moments can also build something incredibly powerful within you, spiritual resilience. Spiritual resilience means having the strength to keep your faith and stay grounded, even when life feels chaotic. Dealing with a narcissist can teach you patience, trust in God, and a deeper understanding of your purpose. Their actions might frustrate or hurt you, but every challenge they bring is an opportunity to grow. For example, when a narcissist tests your patience, you might find yourself praying more, asking for guidance, or seeking comfort in God's promises. 
This strengthens your relationship with him and reminds you that his presence is constant, even in hard times. You may begin to see that relying on your own strength isn't enough, but trusting in God gives you the peace and wisdom you need to move forward. Challenges with a narcissist can also help you develop spiritual maturity. You learn to respond with grace instead of anger, compassion instead of revenge, and wisdom instead of impulsive reactions. These experiences can shape you into someone who handles difficulties with faith and courage, knowing that God is always working behind the scenes, for your good. Enduring these moments also helps you find clarity in your purpose. Narcissists often create confusion or chaos, but through prayer and reflection, you can become more focused on what truly matters. You start to see that your worth isn't tied to their approval or opinions, it's grounded in God's plan for you. While the journey may not be easy, every trial with a narcissist is an opportunity to become stronger in your faith and more grounded in your mission. These moments remind you of your resilience, showing that no matter what life throws your way, God's grace and guidance are always enough to carry you through. Dealing with a narcissist can be an exhausting experience, but it often leads to an important realization, your own self-worth. Narcissists may try to control you, criticize you, or make you feel small to keep the focus on themselves. While this can be painful, it also pushes you to reflect on what you truly deserve in life, and that's where the awakening begins. One of the biggest lessons you learn is the importance of valuing yourself. When a narcissist constantly dismisses your feelings or takes advantage of your kindness, it forces you to ask, why am I allowing this? This moment of clarity is powerful because it reminds you that you don't have to accept less than you deserve. You start to see your worth and recognize that your voice, feelings and needs matter just as much as anyone else's. Setting boundaries becomes a key part of this journey. A narcissist will often test your limits, but those moments teach you how to say no and stand up for yourself. Boundaries aren't about being mean or selfish. They're about protecting your peace and showing others how you expect to be treated. Each time you enforce a boundary, you're sending a clear message. I respect myself and I expect the same from you. Embracing self-love is another critical step. Narcissists might try to make you doubt yourself or feel unworthy, but the truth is their opinions don't define you. Through these challenges, you learn to love yourself for who you are, not for what others say about you. You start prioritizing your happiness, health and well-being, knowing that you are enough just as you are. This journey isn't easy, but it's worth it. The trials with a narcissist become the fuel for your transformation. You move from doubting your worth to standing tall in your value. You learn to let go of toxic relationships and step into a life where you are loved, respected and valued, starting with yourself. Dealing with a narcissist is like being in an emotional battlefield. It can be challenging but it teaches you invaluable lessons about your own emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage your emotions while also recognizing and responding to the emotions of others. When you're navigating a narcissist's manipulation, your emotional intelligence is put to the test and as you adapt it becomes sharper and more refined. Narcissists are skilled at using tactics like guilt tripping, gaslighting, and emotional outbursts to control or confuse you. At first, this can leave you feeling frustrated or unsure of what's happening, but over time, you begin to recognize their patterns. You learn to separate your emotions from theirs, staying calm and clear-headed instead of getting swept up in their chaos. This process improves your emotional awareness. You start to notice your own triggers, what makes you angry, upset, or defensive and find healthier ways to respond. Instead of reacting impulsively, you pause, reflect, and choose your response with care. This not only protects your peace, 
but also prevents the narcissist from controlling the situation. Navigating these challenges also teaches you how to handle difficult relationships in general. You learn how to spot manipulation early, read between the lines of what people say, and protect yourself from toxic behavior. These are skills you can carry into all areas of life, helping you maintain healthier, more balanced connections with others. Perhaps most importantly, this experience builds resilience. You become better at staying calm under pressure, seeing through deceit, and maintaining your self-worth no matter what someone else says or does. While the journey may be tough, the growth it brings is profound. By the end of it, you're not just better at dealing with the narcissist, you're better equipped to handle any challenge life throws your way. Your emotional intelligence becomes a powerful tool for navigating relationships with wisdom, strength, and grace. A narcissist can unexpectedly become a powerful tool in God's hands to lead you closer to his divine plan for your life. While their behavior might disrupt your peace, it often serves as a wake-up call that shakes you out of your comfort zone and realigns you with a higher purpose. When a narcissist enters your life, they often bring chaos, confusion, and challenges that force you to question everything, your boundaries, your relationships, and even your priorities. But this disruption is not random. It's a push towards something greater. The difficulties they create can reveal areas where you've been settling for less, where you've drifted from God's purpose, or where you need to grow in faith and strength. This redirection often begins when you start seeking answers. You may find yourself turning to prayer, scripture, or quiet reflection, asking God, why is this happening? What do you want me to learn? In those moments, you discover that the narcissist's presence is less about them and more about you stepping into the life God has planned for you. The challenges they bring force you to let go of things that no longer serve your purpose, whether it's toxic relationships, self-doubt, or a reliance on others for validation, the presence of a narcissist can make it clear what you need to release in order to move forward. Through this process, you begin to understand that your worth and direction come from God, not from people who seek to control or diminish you. Ultimately, dealing with a narcissist pushes you to trust God more deeply. You learn to rely on his guidance rather than your own understanding, you become more grounded in your faith, more focused on his promises, and more determined to live out his plan for your life. Though the journey may be painful, it leads to clarity. The narcissist may have caused disruption, but in doing so, they also became a catalyst for you to align with God's divine purpose. Through it all, you're being prepared for something greater, a life that reflects God's love, strength, and plan for you. Sometimes the most difficult people in our lives have a way of drawing us closer to God. When you deal with a narcissist, their behavior can leave you feeling drained, confused, or even broken. But in those challenging moments, you often find yourself leaning on God more than ever before. Their actions push you to seek his strength, wisdom, and guidance, ultimately strengthening your faith in ways you might not have imagined. Narcissists are known for their manipulative tendencies, self-centeredness, and lack of empathy. They often create situations that test your patience, emotional endurance, and even your sense of self-worth. It can feel like an uphill battle, one that you're fighting on your own. But it's in these moments of struggle that many people turn to God, realizing they can't face these challenges through their own strength alone. Prayer becomes a lifeline during these times. Whether it's asking for wisdom to navigate their manipulative tactics, strength to maintain your boundaries, or peace amidst their chaos, prayer opens the door to God's guidance. As you lay your burdens before Him, you begin to feel a sense of calm and assurance that only His presence can bring. You're reminded that you don't have to carry this weight by yourself. God is with you, ready to fight the battle on your behalf. Relying on God also sharpens your discernment. Narcissists are skilled at twisting situations and playing mind games, which can make it hard to know what's true. But when you seek God's guidance, he gives you clarity. You start to see through the manipulation and understand what's really happening. 
His word becomes a lamp to your feet, illuminating the path forward even when things feel dark and confusing. Over time, these experiences deepen your trust in God. You begin to realize that no matter how difficult the situation, he's always in control. Even the presence of a narcissist in your life isn't outside of his plan. Instead, it's often a tool he uses to teach you valuable lessons about patience, resilience, and the power of leaning on him. Your faith grows stronger as you see how God carries you through each challenge. You learn to let go of trying to fix everything on your own and instead surrender to his will. This trust allows you to find peace even in the middle of the storm, knowing that he's working all things together for your good. In the end, dealing with a narcissist doesn't just teach you about them, it teaches you about God. It reveals his faithfulness, his wisdom, and his unending love for you. Through the trials, your relationship with him deepens and your faith becomes unshakable. What once felt like a battle turns into a testimony of God's strength and grace in your life. Forgiveness is often misunderstood as a way of excusing someone's harmful behavior or welcoming them back into your life. However, true forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about freeing yourself. When dealing with a narcissist, their actions may continue to hurt or disappoint you, making reconciliation impossible. Yet, learning to forgive without reconciliation holds immense spiritual power and is key to your healing and growth. A narcissist's behavior can leave deep emotional wounds. Their manipulation, gaslighting, and self-centeredness may cause you pain that lingers long after the relationship changes or ends. Carrying resentment or anger, however, only keeps those wounds open. Forgiveness in this context is about releasing that burden, not for them, but for you. It's a choice to let go of bitterness and reclaim your peace. Forgiving doesn't mean forgetting or pretending the harm didn't happen. It also doesn't require you to maintain contact with the narcissist, especially if the relationship is toxic. Instead, it's an act of surrendering the pain to God, trusting him to handle justice in his way and time. By forgiving, you are no longer tied to the emotional grip of their actions. You're choosing freedom over resentment. This process isn't always instant. Forgiveness, especially when there's no reconciliation, takes time and effort. Start by being honest with yourself about how you feel. Acknowledge the pain and bring it to God in prayer. Ask Him for the strength to release the hurt and for the grace to move forward without carrying anger in your heart. Scripture reminds us of the power of forgiveness. Colossians 3.13 says, Forgive as the Lord forgave you. This doesn't mean ignoring what's right or excusing wrongdoing. It means reflecting God's mercy in your own life. When you forgive, you align yourself with His example, creating space for healing and peace. Even if the narcissist remains distant or unchanged, your forgiveness can transform you. It helps you grow spiritually, teaching you to rely on God's strength rather than your own. It softens your heart, allowing love and peace to replace anger and bitterness. Most importantly, it reminds you of your own value. You deserve a life unburdened by the weight of unresolved pain. Reconciliation may never happen and that's okay. Forgiveness isn't about fixing the relationship. It's about healing yourself. By choosing forgiveness, you take a powerful step toward emotional and spiritual freedom, allowing God to fill the spaces once occupied by hurt. You become stronger, lighter, and more at peace, living proof of the healing power of grace. Dealing with a narcissist can often feel like you're fighting an invisible battle. While their behavior may seem purely emotional or psychological, it can actually reveal a deeper spiritual warfare at play. Narcissists often use manipulation, gaslighting, and emotional control to undermine your peace and self-worth. But if you step back and look at the bigger picture, you may begin to recognize that there is more happening than just a toxic relationship. There is a spiritual battle happening beneath the surface, and navigating it can lead to greater spiritual awareness 
and growth. The way a narcissist operates can be draining, constantly battling against their egotistical nature, their need for control, and their disregard for your feelings. Over time, you may feel worn down emotionally and spiritually. It's in these moments that you might start to realize that these struggles aren't merely about the narcissist's actions, but a deeper attack on your spirit. Their manipulation, deceit, and constant undermining may be used to create confusion, division, and discouragement in your life. These are tactics often seen in spiritual warfare, where forces of darkness work to weaken your faith, cause division, and distract you from your purpose. Recognizing this unseen battle opens your eyes to the importance of spiritual protection. When you begin to realize that the narcissist's behavior is part of a larger spiritual struggle, you may find yourself more vigilant in prayer. Prayer becomes not only a way to cope with the narcissist's behavior, but also a way to protect yourself from the negative spiritual forces at work. You might find yourself asking God for wisdom and discernment to see beyond the surface and recognize the enemy's tactics. You may begin to pray for protection from spiritual attacks and for strength to withstand them, even when the battle feels relentless. Spiritual warfare also teaches you to rely on God's power and not your own strength. On your own, it may feel impossible to deal with the narcissist's behavior, but through God's strength, you can endure. You learn to put on the full armor of God as described in Ephesians 6, 10 to 18, which equips you to stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. With God's armor, you are better equipped to defend your mind, heart, and spirit against the negativity and manipulation that may come from the narcissist. Through this process, you grow stronger in your faith. You learn to identify when you're being spiritually attacked and to stand firm in your beliefs and convictions. It becomes easier to recognize when spiritual forces are at work behind the scenes and you become more intentional about praying for protection, peace, and clarity. Dealing with a narcissist may be one of the most challenging experiences, but it can also be one of the most spiritually enlightening. It pushes you to become more aware of the unseen forces around you, leading you to deepen your prayer life and become more vigilant in spiritual protection. The battle may be difficult, but through prayer and God's strength, you can overcome and grow spiritually stronger. Dealing with a narcissist often brings a constant stream of criticism, judgment, and manipulation. Their words can cut deep, leaving you questioning your worth and second-guessing your decisions. But these experiences can also teach you a powerful lesson, one that shifts your focus from seeking validation from others to standing firm in your identity as a chosen one. Narcissists thrive on control, often using criticism and manipulation as their primary tools. Their aim is to make you feel inferior, weak, or unworthy, pushing you to seek their approval in order to feel good about yourself. But this constant pressure to prove yourself can become exhausting. Over time, you start to realize that no matter how hard you try to meet their standards, it's never enough. Their validation is fleeting and their criticism is unrelenting. This is where the spiritual lesson begins to unfold. The more you endure their judgment, the more you begin to recognize that your worth doesn't come from them or anyone else. You are a chosen one, handpicked and valued by God, and your identity is rooted in Him, not in the opinions of others. The narcissist's attempts to tear you down can become the very thing that strengthens you, teaching you to stop seeking approval from someone whose judgment is flawed and driven by self-interest. Instead, you start to turn inward and upward, finding your validation in God's love and purpose for your life. This shift is liberating. No longer are you swayed by their words or manipulated by their tactics. You learn to stand firm in the truth 
that you are a unique creation set apart for a divine purpose. God's love is unconditional and his opinion is the only one that truly matters. When you internalize this truth, you begin to let go of the need for validation from toxic sources and you embrace your identity as someone chosen by God for a greater purpose. Overcoming the fear of judgment is not an easy process. It takes time to unlearn the patterns of seeking validation from external sources and to rewire your thinking. But through prayer, self-reflection and a deeper connection with God, you gradually build the strength to stand tall in your identity. You begin to recognize that the criticism from a narcissist is a reflection of their insecurities, not a reflection of your truth. As you embrace your true identity as a chosen one, you become less affected by the judgments of others. You no longer feel the need to prove yourself because you know who you are in God's eyes. This is the foundation of confidence that doesn't come from the approval of people, but from the security of knowing that you are loved and valued by your creator. In the end, the narcissist's attempts to tear you down can be the catalyst for you to rise up stronger, more confident and more anchored in your identity. The fear of judgment slowly loses its grip on you, replaced by a deep, unwavering sense of self-worth that comes from God alone. Setting boundaries with a narcissist is a delicate and challenging task, but it is also an essential step in preserving your emotional, mental and spiritual well-being. The narcissist's tendency to overstep, manipulate and demand control can leave you feeling drained and vulnerable. However, learning to set clear, healthy boundaries not only protects you, but also teaches you how to maintain a Christ-like heart in the face of challenge. Boundaries are essential because they serve as a protective barrier between you and toxic behavior. Narcissists can be relentless in their demands and criticisms, constantly testing your limits and trying to break down your defenses. Without boundaries, you may find yourself caught in a cycle of emotional exhaustion, unable to stand firm against their manipulative tactics. Setting limits allows you to preserve your peace and energy, protecting yourself from the negative effects of their actions. But setting boundaries with a narcissist isn't about retaliation or shutting them out in anger. It's about self-preservation and maintaining respect for yourself. This is where the challenge lies. You need to find a balance between protecting yourself and showing compassion. It's tempting to close off entirely or to become hardened by the narcissist's behavior. However, this doesn't align with the Christ-like heart you are called to maintain. Christ, in his ultimate love and wisdom, showed us the importance of love and compassion while still maintaining boundaries. By setting healthy boundaries, you honor both your needs and your values. You protect yourself from being overwhelmed by the narcissist's manipulation, but you also demonstrate compassion by refusing to retaliate or hold grudges. In this way, you show mercy and kindness, not because they deserve it, but because Christ calls you to do so. This balance is key, protecting your peace while still loving from a distance. In the process, you learn to communicate your needs clearly and assertively while still embodying love and respect. Now, you don't have to tolerate disrespect or mistreatment, but you can refuse to let bitterness take root in your heart. Christ teaches us to love our enemies, to bless those who curse us, and to pray for those who mistreat us. Luke 6, 27-28 Setting boundaries with compassion doesn't mean allowing the narcissist to continue harmful behavior, but it does mean that you are free from the bondage of anger, resentment, and revenge. Mastering the delicate balance between protecting yourself and maintaining a Christ-like heart takes time, prayer, and practice. But as you do, you grow spiritually, learning to trust God for the wisdom and strength to navigate difficult relationships. Setting boundaries allows you to safeguard your emotional health while reflecting the love of Christ, showing that you can stand firm in your convictions without compromising your heart. In this way, 
you become a living example of strength, compassion, and grace. The pain caused by a narcissist can feel overwhelming, emotional abuse, manipulation, and the constant need to defend yourself against their attacks can leave deep scars. But what if this pain could be transformed into something powerful, something that brings purpose and healing, not just for you, but for others as well? Through God's grace, the struggles you face with a narcissist can become the very foundation of your testimony, inspiring others and motivating them to find strength in him. One powerful example is the story of someone who endured years of emotional manipulation and gaslighting by a narcissistic family member. For a long time, they felt trapped, unsure of who they could trust and questioning their own worth. But in the midst of this suffering, they began to lean more deeply on God for strength and wisdom. Through prayer and time spent in His Word, they learned how to set boundaries, regain their sense of self-worth, and protect their peace. It wasn't an easy journey, but as they grew in their faith, they started to see how the pain they experienced could be used to help others going through similar struggles. They became an advocate for others who had been manipulated or emotionally harmed by narcissistic behavior. Their testimony was powerful because they could speak from a place of lived experience. They shared how God had carried them through the darkest times, how his strength had helped them endure, and how they had learned to turn their pain into purpose. Their story encouraged others who were facing similar battles, showing them that healing was possible and that they didn't have to carry the burden alone. This person's pain had been transformed into a message of hope, reminding others of the power of God's love and the strength that comes from leaning on Him in the midst of adversity. Another example comes from a woman who had been in a toxic relationship with a narcissistic partner. The emotional and psychological toll was immense and for a time she questioned her worth and her place in the world. But as she grew spiritually, she started to see her story not just as one of suffering but as a testimony of God's transformative power. She began to share her experience with others, encouraging them to seek God's help in their own relationships and teaching them how to find their identity in Christ rather than in the approval or manipulation of others. Her pain became the catalyst for helping others find healing and freedom in their own lives. Turning pain into purpose doesn't mean that the hurt is forgotten or the scars are erased. Rather, it's about allowing God to use the difficult moments in your life for a greater purpose. As you share your story with others, you become a living testimony of how God can heal, restore, and empower you to help others who are facing similar struggles. Through your journey, others see the light of God's grace shining in the darkness, and they are motivated to find strength and healing in Him as well. In the end, when you turn the pain caused by a narcissist into a purpose-driven testimony, you not only heal yourself, but also become a beacon of hope for others. You show them that through God, every painful experience can be used for His glory, and that even in the most challenging times, He can bring beauty and transformation. Dealing with a narcissist can feel like a never-ending battle, an emotional and mental struggle that seems designed to wear you down. Their manipulation, control, and constant undermining of your worth can make you question your own strength and purpose. But in the midst of these encounters, God is using these trials to remind you of something powerful, your resilience, spiritual authority, and His unyielding plan to prosper you. It's easy to feel powerless in the face of a narcissist's constant attacks. They seem to have a way of making you doubt yourself questioning your decisions and feeling small. However, this is where God steps in. He is using these encounters not to defeat you, but to build you up, to remind you of the strength that lies within you, strength that comes from Him. Through the process of enduring and overcoming these challenges, you begin to realize that the power to stand firm, to resist manipulation, and to reclaim your peace is not from your own will, 
but from God's power within you. When you feel defeated or overwhelmed, take a moment to remember who you are in Christ. You are not defined by the narcissist's words or actions. You are a child of God, equipped with divine resilience and authority. In the face of adversity, you have the strength to rise above, not because of your own might, but because of God's presence in your life. His word reminds you that you are more than a conqueror through him who loves you, Romans 8.37, and he has equipped you with everything you need to face every challenge with courage and wisdom. In these difficult moments, God is also teaching you about your spiritual authority. He has given you the power to take control over your thoughts, emotions, and actions. You don't have to be a victim to the narcissist's tactics. Through prayer, discernment, and a deeper connection with him, you can take authority over the situation and refuse to let the narcissist dictate your reality. You have the power to set boundaries, to walk away from toxicity, and to guard your heart. And as you do, you become more aligned with God's plan for your life, a plan that is filled with hope, peace, and purpose. God's plan for you is unyielding. Even when you face struggles, he is at work behind the scenes, using everything for your good and his glory. The narcissist's behavior, the pain, and the challenges are all part of the refining process that will make you stronger, wiser, and more rooted in your purpose. God's promise to prosper you remains steadfast, and nothing can thwart his divine plan. As you continue to lean on him, he will use these experiences to deepen your faith and remind you of the unshakable truth that he has already equipped you to rise above and thrive. So, as you face the challenges posed by a narcissist, remember this. You are resilient, you hold spiritual authority, and God's plan for your life is unyielding. Through every trial, he is shaping you into the person you are meant to be, someone who is not only a survivor, but a testament to his unwavering strength and love. As a chosen one, it's time to fully embrace the authority that God has placed within you. You were not created by accident, and the challenges you face are not meant to break you, they are meant to refine you and prepare you for the powerful destiny that awaits. Every situation, no matter how difficult or painful, is being used by God to mold your character, strengthen your faith, and align you with the purpose he has designed for your life. God has called you to greatness. You are more than just a survivor of life's trials, you are a conqueror in Christ. When you step into your authority as a chosen one, you begin to realize that nothing can stand in the way of what God has planned for you. Even in the most challenging circumstances, he is at work, refining you and shaping you into the person who can walk boldly in your divine calling. But stepping into this authority means declaring your strength in faith. It means acknowledging that no matter how tough the battle, you are equipped with the power of God. His strength is your strength. His wisdom is your wisdom. His guidance is your direction. As you stand firm in your identity as a chosen one, you take hold of the authority that comes with being a child of the Most High. It's time to stop shrinking back, to stop second-guessing your worth, and to start walking in confidence. Your past, the challenges you've faced, and even the difficult people who have crossed your path are part of God's perfect plan to refine you. These experiences are shaping you into the person you are meant to be, strong, resilient, and fully aligned with God's purpose. Declare today that you are stepping into your God-given authority, speak it out loud, believe it in your heart, and start acting as though you are the chosen one you truly are. Trust that God is leading you, even when the path is unclear or difficult. With every step you take in faith, you are getting closer to fulfilling your destiny. Your challenges are not obstacles, they are opportunities for God to show his power in your life. So rise up, take action, align yourself with God's purpose for you. Step into your authority as a chosen one, knowing that he is with you every step of the way and that he will use every situation to refine your character and Fulfill your destiny. This is your time to shine. Trust in God's plan and move forward with courage because the best is yet to come. Your story is powerful. The challenges you've faced, especially when dealing with a narcissist, are not just your own. They are part of a bigger picture, a journey that God has been guiding you through. As you've walked through the fire, 
of emotional pain, manipulation and betrayal, you have come out stronger, wiser and more grounded in your faith. Now it's time to share that story. By sharing your testimony, you can be a beacon of hope for others who are walking a similar path. There are countless people out there who feel trapped, lost and unsure of how to break free from the toxic grip of a narcissist. But when they hear your story, how you overcame the challenges, leaned on God for strength and found healing, they will find hope. They will see that there is light at the end of the tunnel, that they too can find the strength to rise above their circumstances just as you have. Your testimony is a testament to the power of faith and resilience. When you share how God carried you through those darkest moments, how you held on to his promises and relied on his wisdom, you offer others the courage to keep going. You remind them that they are not alone in their struggles and that God is always with them, ready to heal, restore and empower them to rise above. But your testimony does more than just inspire. It provides a tangible example of what is possible when you trust God through the toughest times. It shows others that they can break free from manipulation, rebuild their lives and embrace their true worth in Christ. Your experience can be a guide, a light that shows others the way to healing and restoration. Never underestimate the impact your story can have. It might feel vulnerable or intimidating to open up about your struggles, but remember that your words have the power to heal. They can empower others to take that first step toward freedom and healing. By sharing how you relied on God's strength, wisdom and grace, you give others the tools they need to face their own battles with confidence. So, share your testimony. Don't keep your story to yourself. It's not just yours anymore. It belongs to everyone who needs hope, encouragement, and proof that with God, they can overcome anything. Your journey through the pain of dealing with a narcissist can become a powerful tool for spreading God's love and light, helping others walk through their own challenges and come out victorious on the other side. In life, the challenges we face often hold profound lessons and encountering a narcissist is no exception. While their actions can be painful, God can use even these difficult relationships to mold you into the person you are meant to be. A narcissist's presence in your life may act as a mirror, reflecting your hidden insecurities and prompting deep self-reflection. They push you to awaken to your self-worth, set boundaries and embrace self-love, reminding you of the importance of standing firm in your identity. Through these trials, your faith is strengthened as you lean on God for guidance, wisdom and strength. You learn to forgive even when reconciliation is not possible, allowing you to heal and grow spiritually. This journey also teaches you to recognize spiritual warfare, revealing the unseen battles that shape your character and spiritual resilience. Facing manipulation sharpens your emotional intelligence and helps you master the art of setting boundaries with compassion. These lessons equip you to navigate relationships with grace while maintaining a Christ-like heart. Furthermore, the pain caused by these experiences can be transformed into purpose, allowing you to inspire others with your testimony and offer hope to those walking a similar path. Ultimately, God uses these challenges to align you with his divine plan, shaking you out of comfort zones and redirecting your path toward your destiny. These experiences refine your character, deepen your faith and remind you of the incredible power you possess as a reflection of his light. When you embrace these lessons, you step into your authority, not as a victim, but as a resilient soul chosen to thrive trust in God's unyielding purpose and know that even the most difficult situations are working together for your good, shaping you into the masterpiece he intended you to be.